Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at um, what is their next move towards you here. Okay, so this is going to be a general reading. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out and connect. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead with the card of shuffle and let's see what is their next move towards you here. Okay. Okay, the Page of Wands is a very excitable type of energy. So yes, this person is very keen, very enthusiastic, um, and very energetic in wanting to make a move towards you or in wanting to get to know you here, okay? The Page of Wands is, of course, all about movement. It's a very restless type of energy. So they are very much wanting to make a move towards you, to advance in, you know, towards you, to maybe build a closer connection with you. To maybe spend more time with you here, you know, build on the sparks, the chemistry here. I definitely feel like this is someone who wants to get to know you a little bit better, who I feel like is really excited that the two of you, you know, are seeing each other or that you're in a connection or a commitment of some sort here. Um, they feel some very strong and positive feelings. They do. Okay. And I do feel like that. With the Page of Wands energy, I do feel like this is someone who wants to, they could be wanting to make a move towards you. So if it's early stages of the connection, maybe this is someone who is uh, sort of planning to approach you, to ask you out, um, you know, to strike up a conversation. For others of you, I feel like this is someone who, you know, is planning their next time that they see you, is planning a date with you. If you are, you know, if you have been seeing this person for quite some time, this could signal to us that maybe this person is ready to take things to the next level. For some of you, I'm seeing a very, um, a very important message that is going to be arriving to you from this person. The it's a romantic message, okay? A romantic message that contains some very good news coming your way. Um, and to me, it suggests that whatever the contents of this message su suggests that. Uh, there is positivity, okay, in this message, so don't fret. But to me, it feels like it's a type of a connection that is going to be very full of fun, very exciting here, um, a lot of flirting, a lot of intensity, a lot of attraction here in this connection. So I feel like the next move towards you will start with that. We'll start with a message of some sort here, okay? And that's really, I feel like it's really going to... Um, that is really going to be indicative of their interest and their enthusiasm for you and, you know, for, for wanting to get to know you here. I feel like this person wants to explore this opportunity with you. They want to explore this connection and getting to know you and, you know, in building a connection with you. I do feel like this is someone who, you know, he, I mean, Page of Wands in particular, he does have this tendency to get distracted with one ID and start chasing something else. So, Yes, your person is coming across that way, not entirely focused, but I do feel like the one thing they are sure about is, you know, the um, attraction that they feel for you, the energies, you know, the butterflies that they get whenever they're with you here. So this is someone who doesn't want to squander that opportunity to approach you or to want to, you know, make a move towards you. This is someone who I feel like is set on um, coming towards you here. So I feel like they're ready to, they're just about ready to take on a move here um, or to send off a message here that's going to resemble their passion, their desire or their interest in getting to know you here. Now judgment also tells us that there is something here that this person I feel like is going to say which could potentially open up a new beginning to um, this situation. So if they ask you out on a date, I feel like it will be, you know, it, it will unfold very positively. I feel like it will be very fun, exciting, very sexy. There'll be a lot of 
um, chemistry, a lot of attraction, and you know, that itself will open up the doors to a new connection or a new relationship, or at the very least, something, um, even if it is something casual, like a casual type of arrangement, nevertheless, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of excitement here, so, you know, either way, I feel like this, uh, it'll open up the door to something special here. I feel like they're, this person is a bit of a risk taker. I feel like this is someone who boldly launches themselves into things. I do feel like this is someone who has quite a confident energy around them, about them. And I feel like this is someone who is confident. Why are they so confident that you're going to say yes? Is it because, you know, they, they're feeling what you're feeling? Is it because, they you know, they catch you looking their way? They catch you checking them out? Um, or is it because this person already is aware of just, you know, how maybe emotionally invested or attracted you are to this person to begin with here? So to me, judgment tells us that, you know, it, it is their next move towards you is also one about moving this connection forward so whether by asking you out on a date, whether by trying to make things official or exclusive here. This person does find you extremely attractive with the Empress energy here. Okay, this person does feel like you're... Um, they can be a little bit intimidated here, but they're not showing it. They're, they're, masking, they're masking that pretty well. But this person does feel like this is... As I've mentioned, they don't really want to squander the opportunity to get to know you. And they do feel like there is something there that exists between the two of you. And this is why this person wants to get in quick, you know, before that window of opportunity closes. Because the the Empress represents the creation of life, romance here. Um, she's associated with, you know, art, newness, beauty. So this is someone who I feel like wants to nurture this connection here. Um, you bring a lot of happiness or a lot of excitement into their life you do and I feel like you awaken certain feelings within them that they've not felt before here the thing with them I feel like is it's funny because I see them making a move but then I see them pulling back here with the hangman and the hermit energy and I'm not sure if it's something that you do or something that you, you might do or you might say that might cause them to pull back here. It could be. That's not off the table. Or I'm not sure if it's because it's some sort of behavioral pattern where they can come across a bit of a, like an indecisive or inconsistent kind of energy. Like so they can maybe be hot and cold on and off here. So I just want to put that out there that you might experience some of that type of behavioral patterns with this energy because I see them coming on very strongly I see them chasing you I see them chasing you like no tomorrow actually um, I see them being very bold very courageous here very brave in you know asking you out or making the next move towards you I do feel like this is someone who is going to wine and dine you um, I feel like this is someone who is they're trying hard to impress you okay um, and then I feel like once they're kind of won you over or once they solidify the connection or once they you know make things official or exclusive with you then they pull back or then they withdraw a little bit it may not have a lot to do with you it could have something to do with what it is that they may be going through okay so you may find that this person uh, may be a type of individual where if they're going through some things they shut down and they pull away Okay, they emotionally withdraw, um, they, you know, disconnect from the world, they don't want to be around people, they just want to crawl into hermit mode kind of energy. Um, or then again, it could be something that you might have said that might have inspired them to sort of go into hermit mode and to sort of, you know, um, shut down here. But be careful because I do feel like if it's not you, because you are personally involved in, with this person, right, you're going to personalize it, right? So I'm just here to tell you that try and be very, um, I guess, try and keep an open minded and just, just realize that it may not have been anything you might say or do. It could, but it may not 
as well, if that makes sense. Um, it just may have something to do with what's going on internally with them. It could have, it could be career related. It could be other issues that they're going through. It could be that, you know, the connection may be moving too quick for them. Okay. It could be that maybe they were really full on in the beginning um, and they were so keen and enthusiastic to uh, win you over, pin you down. And now that they've achieved that, they feel like they could really relax a little. I'm not sure what it is that prompts this exactly, but I do feel like you'll notice that they come on very strongly with their next move and then they'll take two steps back here, okay? All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.